Hey guys, today we're going to use Affinity Publisher version 2 to create this nice retro vintage like style for the text. We will use only effects, this way the text will be still editable and we can change it, modify anytime we want. Alright, as you can see I'm here in the program, I'm going to use a desktop version but steps are really similar on your iPad so you can follow this on iPad as well. Here's my text, I already apply several effects on it, so let's try to backtrack and replicate this effect on the new text layer. So this is not a text box, I'm not using a tool to draw a box for long text, this is this artistic text that is suitable for like just like headlines and stuff like that. So let's just type something, Mark, that's my name. Let's screw mark channel, alright, and then I'm going to change the font, I pick this nice retro font, you got the name here on screen, so you can pause and search for this font if you want to download it, alright, nice, we will need a white color for our text, just like this, and the rest will be all in the layer effects. So to open up the layer effects pop up, you will need to go to the right side to our layer panel and then you got this FX button. Be sure the layer of the text is currently selected. FX, all right, and let's start with some kind of outline. We want to add a dark outline around this, just like that value will vary based on the size of the text. Let's start with 15 pixels, in my case that's fine, and I want this to be at central, so let's go a bit inside and a bit outside. Alright, pure black color and 100% opacity, that's important. Okay, so we got this base outline, how we can create this a gray shadow inside? It's a bit tricky, but we can try go with the very first effect on the list here, emboss, and then you will need to experiment with the size. By default, it gives us this pillow like style. Let me zoom in using Command Plus. This pillow like thing, we don't want that, we want inner effect just inside the text, just like that. For the white color, I don't need that at all, I just need the dark color. I want a normal black. 100%. All right, now I will use the direction here to position this very far away, almost like that to make it a bit stiffer. Okay, and now I will reduce this opacity to the level that I'm happy with this little gray shadow on it, just like that. Perfect. Now, it's time to make this black shadow below. The thing is, it's a retro shadow, so it will be very sharp. No blur apply here, all right? Let's keep it in the retro aesthetics. So to do that, we will click over the shadow, as you may guess, turn it on, and we do the offset thing. All right, here's the shadow and radius. Take a look, the radius is the blur. We don't wanna use the blur, so radius will be on zero pixels for the color. We don't want to make this semi-transparent, so opacity 100% and normal blending mode, pure black again. All right, that's nice, but it's a bit too far. If you if you take a look here on this letter M, I got a distance here. I need to make it a bit closer, so the offset must be shorter, something like that, like 15 in my case. All right, but you may say, ah, oh, this shadow is so shallow. Don't worry, in version 2 we can apply multiple copies of the same effect. So let's click the plus button. And for the copy of the shadow, let's make it a bit longer. Just a bit. Copy again. A bit longer. Copy again. A bit longer. Alright. And this way we create this nice shadow below and all of that is still a normal text layer so I can 
change the text inside if I want. And also I can just keep this as a style. So if you want to save this as style for future use, you can go to the style tab. Let's open this up from the window. Let's search for our styles. It's switch off in my case. There's no check mark next to it. So I click on it. It's pop up right now. Here it is. As you can see, I got one similar style here already, but that's all right. So I click on the text. I need to use this as a sample. So something needs to be selected. And then I'm going to add style from selection. Done. We got the style number nine. And if I create a text in the future, like that, I can just simply click on the style number nine. And here it is. Ta da! Very handy style to have if you are working with the text in Affinity Publisher. By the way, the process is the same in Affinity Designer and Affinity photos so you can replicate this effect in any program from affinity family you can also have the styles that are shared between apps so you can use it in any app from this family later on as well all right i hope this video was helpful don't forget to check the playlist for affinity publisher and i hope i will see you in the next video bye